Morris, welcome to Hibs. First impressions of life here at the club, please. Oh, fantastic. Uh, what a joy it was to step at Macari yesterday morning. You know, see the training facilities. Um, came in and met the boys yesterday morning. Uh, good banter straight away. We've, we've settled in. Although it was a busy afternoon, you know, doing the press. Uh, watched the kids, the kids playing the game, the under 20 game last night. So it was a busy day, but thoroughly enjoyable. You know, it's, uh, it was another sleepless night last night, thinking about everything we've got to get done. But just turning up at the training ground was uh, put a big smile on my face. How important is it to, to put, put down your marker straight away in terms of the way that you want to lead this football club? Well, it's important the players realise what we want to do and try and do it. Uh, you know, that's it's a part of being a manager and assistant manager. You know, Terry decides how we're going to play and it's my job to make sure the players know that and try and get in their heads. Um, mentally, I've got to be right. It's not rocket science. You know, it's hard work, hard work, more hard work and more hard work until everything is sick in nature. Um, but, you know, yesterday the boys enjoyed their training. They've done well at training and we'll take that on now. You've been involved in the game for a long time, but does it ever surprise you how quickly everything can change in football? Last weekend you were in the away dugout, now you're in the home one. Well, football's a strange world, it's a small world, uh, small circles. Last weekend, you know, it was a difficult week last week. What was happening with Terry and Hibbs and uh, Cali Thistle, and I just really had to get on with my job, but I've got to admit it was tough. Uh, it was very emotional after the game, saying cheerio to the players. You know, we've been there for five years. Um, in a good five years, you know, thoroughly enjoyable, we're a great bunch of players. Um, so I found that difficult. Uh, normally you get sacked when you leave a club. Uh, or in my case, we normally get sacked when we leave a club. So that's the first time I've actually been um, headhunted and taken away from a club and I found it difficult. But, you know, when you turned up the training ground, that, you know, I think that helped it. How strange was it to to obviously lead the Inverness team on Saturday and then speak to the media afterwards and obviously there was this massive question mark over where you were going to be this week. Oh, I don't, honestly, the Friday was automatic pilot. Um, I kept myself busy Friday afternoon. Um, I actually drove to Dundee Friday evening just to keep myself busy, you know, I've got a house here. And then Saturday went into automatic pilot again, pre-match meal, um, done the team talk. But being fair, Richard Ferrand done a fair bit of the team talk. Drove to the game, um, and then it just took over. You know, you, you go. I take the warm ups. I done. I had to do the media before the game. And I took the warm ups. You're into the game. I was engrossed in the game. You know, you're desperate for the team to do well. And before you realise it, the game's nearly finished. And then, you know, the reality hit that I was going to leave and say cheerio. Uh, so that you know that was. As I say, it's a strange, strange feeling. Normally, you go to a game. And there's nothing much said after for myself because you know, Terry does all the press. I had to go up and meet the press on Saturday evening after the game, talk about our game, talk about what was happening with Terry, um, and, and try and be diplomatic about what, what was happening with myself. Everybody in Inverness knew I, I was wanting to come to Hibs. Um, Terry obviously knew, Hibs knew. It was just a case of getting you know, everything sorted out so I could really go and speak to Hibs and get everything done and thankfully that was done quickly on Monday evening. 